Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, this is my top wearable everyday lip liners video. I'm gonna try on every single one of the shades. I believe there are seven here. Some of them are very similar to others. I tried to put in as many price points as possible, but I wanted to stay true to my absolute favorite lip liners. So I have seven here and oh my gosh, I love all of them for all different reasons, but they're all so good and also wearable. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I obviously have to start off with my absolute favorite lip liner ever, which is MAC Whirl. This is like my fifth or sixth liner and it's already almost gone. It is truly well loved. It is described as a dirty rose. It isn't their pro long wear, it's just their regular lip liner pencil, but I feel like you can really carve out the lip shape you want to achieve so i always like to slightly overline the top midsection of my upper lip and then just stick to my natural lip line on my lower lip i thought i would take the most lip like color to my natural lips at least um, to put with all of the lipsticks just to show you how it transforms your lipstick and it just really finishes it off so this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk it's such a great everyday nude and it really is just like your lip color but better so I'm just gonna pat it in the center and not gonna overtake the color that we just put on personally I love to line my lips just because the color fades into my skin tone so they can kind of get lost sometimes so that just helps show the lip shape and it just defines any lipstick that you wear I have another MAC lip liner favorite. This is Stripped Down. It is described as a creamy brown beige. Definitely is a little bit more on the brown side compared to the previous Whirl liner. I do like it when I'm a little bit more tan because when I am my natural skin tone and it's winter, let's just say, it can be a little bit intense because of the brown undertone in it, but it is a gorgeous lip liner to really outline any nude lipsticks that you have. So that is it fully on with a little bit in the center of my lips just patted in because I find whenever I use a lip liner and then a lipstick on top, the lipstick is the first thing to remove. And if you only put the lip liner on your lip line, then it just looks very 90s, let's just say. So always just put it all over your lips just so it creates a nice space and it will always be there even if your lipstick wears off. It does cast a little bit more of an orange undertone brown. Um, that's just how it pulls on me, but I still love it mixed with any kind of nude, pink, beigey kind of lipstick. A great everyday lip liner if you really just want something to act as a base on your lips before your lipstick is this L'Oreal Beige in New Lip Liner. It's just gonna really line those areas on your lips if you have the same thing as me where if your lip color is just not that prominent, it's just gonna give you a little bit more definition to your lips. This liner is definitely the easiest to wear on its own because it does have a natural hydration to it. I feel like and I, I can actually like, you know, rub my lips together. So it's one of those lip liners that can just be the only thing that you take in your purse or your coat pocket just for a little bit of a touch up. It's one of my drugstore all time favorite lip liners. I'm gonna put that lipstick on just to be fair to all of the shades. When I worked at Urban Decay, this liner was the only one that I used. I honestly swore by it with like all of the clients that I had. It's amazing. It is the 24-7 Glide On Lip Liner in 1993. I love Urban Decay lip liners. They're very easy to wear and they do last very long as well. It is so nice even on its own, but it gets a little bit patchy because it does have a little bit more of a wax 
base in it similar to the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners so I feel like I do need something on top just to even it out I feel like those two actually really complement each other that gives a really nice definition to the face I feel like it doesn't overpower my face even though it's a medium brown it's not like a 90s lip it's just a very wearable a little bit more depth than your usual everyday color but it's so nice I really really do love this one Now another everyday lip color that really is just your lip but better is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is a nude pink shade. I love it. On some people it does go a little bit more peachier, but for me it just outlines my lips perfectly and it tends to be another lip liner that I can get away with wearing on its own. It glides on really lovely and it's smooth, but it can get caught if you do have some dry areas and you just need to blend it out a little bit with your fingers, but this color is such a beautiful everyday lip liner. You can already tell it's definitely more on the pink side compared to some of the other shades that I've shown you. It's beautiful though. And paired with the matching lipstick, it is the perfect match. You can tell my lips are getting a little bit annoyed with all of the stuff that's going on with it, but we're almost there. This is Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. You've seen me use this in a recent tutorial. Oh, I literally just repurchased it like a week ago. It is one of the best lip aligners ever, and that's a big statement, but I'm gonna stand by it. It is described as a nude beige. I don't think of beige though when I put it on, but I feel like it's more of a brownie pink beige. Love this color, it is so good. Again, like MAC Whirl, I think it's tied up with MAC Whirl for me just because it pulls a little bit more brown, but it's not overwhelming brown, it's not orangey. It is one of those colors that I really just gravitate to for most of my everyday lipstick colors. I love the shade. I honestly wish my lip color was just this lip color and I don't think I would ever purchase another lip product in my life. So nice. Honestly, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are like, all of these lip liners look exactly the same, but there are slight variations in formula, how they go on, color. There are, I promise you, and they're all perfect for every day. You just need to figure out the one that suits your lip shade and skin tone the best and the ones that you gravitate to because I do have more lip liners, but these ones are just the ones that I'm always going to all the time. And this one being one of the top ones, absolutely love this shade it's so beautiful if you haven't tried it i highly highly recommend checking it out last but not least this one is definitely the darkest out of the bunch but again another favorite of mine it's the kevin aquan flush lip pencil in the shade medium it's a neutral nude shade I love it, it definitely outlines and gives that definition to your lip. Putting that on right now actually reminds me so much of Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. Do you guys think that too? That's actually so pretty. Very similar to Iconic Nude. This one has a little bit smoother to put on and it glides on like a dream. So do keep that in mind. But yeah, absolutely love the shade. Wow, I'm so glad that I finished off with this one. Finally, we, we did it, my lips are still intact. Those are all of my absolute favorite wearable everyday go-to lip liners that you guys have seen multiple times either in vlogs, pictures on Instagram, or just my tutorials here as well. Let me know if you wanna see other types of videos like this. I was thinking of doing my favorite blushes. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see as well. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll chat to you soon, bye.